How's it going, guys? Dragast here, and welcome back to another episode of Home Wars. So, if you missed the last few episodes, we are uh, at a pretty good standstill right now. We've been fighting off the ants, and they are continuing to come, but every fight we've been winning. So, I gotta assume reinforcements are depleting, which is going to be very good for us. So you can see all our units are right here. An ant decided to go back to our base, so we gotta bring a lot of these guys back. But before I do that, I do wanna do a little bit of organization. We got like two units, or sorry, four units here. Uh, we can obviously put these guys with these guys, so let's get rid of that crew. There we go. Army Zero is gone, and let's just make sure we start, uh, you know, kind of organizing this a little bit better. All right, so now we should, yes, all my crews have over 25 units. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, let's say about 300 units strong, so we're not doing too bad at all. Uh, we actually also got some more plastic to use, so we are going to recruit some more people. How are we doing for XP? Uh, oh, that's right! I totally forgot! Now I'm excited, sorry, XP is currently at 62, so we're doing just fine with that. But, I almost forgot we got a new vehicle, or an Air Force, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Light Attack Helicopter. Now this thing actually only costs 200 units, uh, speed is very high, so obviously, I think I'm gonna get a full crew of these. We might actually, okay, well we have enough for that many, which is a lot of them. So we're gonna create a new army of just attack helicopters, and obviously we're gonna bring a lot of these guys back. Uh, because, if I remember correctly, this is a 200 unit, yes, yeah, so 200 groups of ants, so it's going to be about 5,000 ants, which is, uh, not fun to deal with without a lot of people, so, uh, once again, we're probably going, going to be going back and forth quite a bit between these two spots, but once we get this room locked down, I think we have the much better chance, so I think that should be good, what, you know what, let's just bring one more for good luck, uh, again, there's no real point to have these out here, aside from just trying to cap that flag, which is what we're doing anyways. All right, so we're gonna defend. Uh, we got 244 units against 200 groups. Uh, oh, this is actually, is this a new bug? Oh shit, yes it actually is. It's a fire ant from Brazil, not the ordinary ant this time, so uh, I, I wonder if I can actually check. Their, their damage is considered 10. Now, unfortunately, I can't see any other ants, so I can't compare, but I'm a little worried now. We got uh, an obviously much stronger ant, so we'll see how we can do. This might be, you know what, to be safe. Let's actually pull back everyone. Well, how, how close are we to capping this? We need one more, so I'm gonna- I gotta keep one crew there just to cap that as well. So, I think we should be able to do this, but you never know. Alright, so we got the howitzers, we got the helicopters. This should be fun, especially against ants. The helicopters, I don't know if they can attack ground, but if they can... Then obviously, that is a very good unit to use because, uh, they can't attack us. Oh, you actually do need to put them in the air. I didn't know that. I thought you just called them in, so we're gonna do... Uh, we'll do a couple of these. I don't want to do too many because I don't feel like I'm going to need them, but that is our first flying aircraft, so that's good. And then we're doing capture the flag again, so, uh, basically my plan is to totally destroy all of them again. That's really my only plan when it comes to capture the flag because they'll take us over at the start. We just, we can't deal with the, uh, sheer amount of numbers. But when their numbers start dying, that's when we will shine. So we're going to, uh, put out a bunch of these guys and we're just going to hold fort once again, kind of in the middle as we usually do. And see how many of these ants we can take down. If we're gonna have issues with them, we might spread out. I don't know yet. We'll figure that out as we we go about it. Uh, artillery, don't want to forget about that. And we're gonna put that in the back end here. We'll do lots of artillery. The more range-based weapons we have, the better, because these things are fire ants. We gotta remember that. And, uh, I gotta assume fire ants are not very fun to deal with. So, I think we'll just keep one sapper for right now. I feel like that's all I really need. The rest of these can be riflemen. Alright, this is gonna be a really good war. Too many troops on the battlefield. Alright, we're gonna ready up. Uh, start battle, here we go, and let's start bringing- Oh my god, the lag, did you see that? Uh, we're gonna bring this right up to here. Now, they are going all the way from over there. Alright, and obviously we'll bring up the supply trucks too, at least some of them, spread these out a little bit. Uh, Sapper as well, we need to get that guy, probably should have did this a little bit earlier. Uh, I think I'm gonna kind of just glue a uh, thing straight across here, and most of the insects are probably gonna come from over there. Actually, our battle points are almost all out, unfortunately, so we do gotta wait. Uh, but we got the glue down. Next thing I'm gonna want is barbed wire. All right, here's a lot of my crew. We're going to go try and cap some of these flags. We got this flag over here. You know what? Let's bring a few more units over there. Uh, we'll get a supply truck to go over there with them, too. 
Uh, now where is my sapper again? I always lose him. Is this my sapper? No, that is uh, an ordinary rifleman. All right, well, too late. War has started. We don't really have a choice here. I need to go. Uh, we're going to bring up these guys. We're going to make sure we, we utilize all my units here. We'll bring those up to the front line. Uh, just trying to look for my sapper. I know he's around here somewhere. All right, well, even without... Is that the sapper here? I was just going to say, even without the sapper, we should be doing fine. No, that is actually not a sapper. Uh, I have no idea where my sapper is, but we seem to be doing pretty good. Again, these are all ants, and that's probably why we're going to have a good time here, because we don't have any flying insects to deal with. Oh, actually, I totally forgot. Let's go to the control tower, and... Oh, I guess... You don't call in helicopters, because I've only used a couple of uh, planes in this game. But oddly enough, you don't call in the helicopters. So let's go over and see what we can do. Oh, wow. This actually controls better than I expected. It's not the best. It's a little bit wonky. But you can actually shoot. Oh, my God. This is like a battlefield for ants, man. This is cool. And you can see I'm not... Oh, God. I'm not... Okay. I can't, I can't control that thing. But it should... Yeah, it actually shoots for me. It's actually got rockets on it as well. We're going to tell them to just shoot things. And I'm going to tell all these guys as well. You guys, feel free to go about and shoot things. There we go. All right, these guys are going to help so much. Look at this crew. Look at how well we are holding up the front lines here. You got to remember, this is 200 groups. And we're actually able to hold the front lines. Those missiles are amazing. So I don't know how to resupply the helicopters, though. I'm assuming... Maybe the supply trucks can go in within range? I have no idea. The great thing is, though, I can have these helicopters up here, and they're not going to be hit at all, so I can just literally bring them over to the front lines. And, uh, yeah, they're going to do a really good job at depleting the amount of bugs coming in, because there is a lot, you can see, but they, uh, they seem to be dying, so I'm not too worried about the fire ants. They are much smaller, though, as you can see. Let's see how much health they have. So, yeah, it's about two shots. Uh, I think the other bugs, or the ants rather, took like three even. So I think they got less health, but they got a heavy bite, obviously, being a fire ant. All right, this is freaking awesome. Holy shit, watch out, howitzers, you crazy bastards. Look at them just shooting through the air. Uh, the fact that we can hold them this well, it just feels great. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not so worried about the campaign anymore. I think we can seriously do this. I think we are coming back, and I think we are making these bugs our bitches. Okay, this guy's out of ammo over here. I think I should go... Uh, save the day with a supply truck. We got this one here. I, I, I can even drive the supply truck, so let's go see if we can do this. You might need to land the actual helicopter. All right, coming to save the day, little helicopter. I don't know how you already ran out of bullets, considering these other guys don't seem to be having an issue. But we're making our way, and we'll see if we can resupply that. There we go. <laughs> we did it. We resupplied it, and that one should be safe because it's got the helicopters there. Actually, we do got another one without of ammo as well. All right, hopefully these guys are low enough to grab this because, uh, yeah. Uh, let me actually see. Can I actually drop these? All right, I don't know if the truck has a certain amount of helicopter ammo. Oh, yeah, it just needs to be lower, so we need to tell these guys to come down. Come down. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, my truck got destroyed. Shit. All right, so I think we should bring these guys back then. And get them to obviously resupply over here. All right, these things have a mind of their own. They don't seem to be going in the right direction. This guy somehow got ammo, so I'm assuming they might be in radius here. Uh, I have no idea. I think I gotta manually do all these because these guys are not very smart at going to get ammo. So we'll go down and... Oh, he's out of ammo now. Great, that's probably why. Okay, so let's bring in some more supply trucks. We may as well. We got lots of them over here. These howitzers are doing just fine. Uh, so we can deal with, uh, my helicopters running out of ammo. All right, 942 bullets remaining. I should be able to get some of these guys. The ants are getting close, as you can see, without the helicopter support. So we do really need to actually start... There we go. Uh, getting these guys some ammo back, and hopefully these trucks will be able to do that. These guys are still too high up, though, so... Unfortunately, I don't know how I can easily tell them to, hey... Go get ammo, you idiot, but they don't do it on their own. All right, but slow and steady, I am bringing them down to get them resupplied, as you can see. I just, I wish I could tell them, hey, stay at a certain distance in height and don't ever go any higher than that. All right, I'm a little worried, though. How are we doing for, let me see the stats. They got 51 groups left. That's quite a bit. We only got one dead ally right now, so we do have to worry about ammo right now because my trucks are slowly getting depleted, which is a little bit worrisome. So let's get this guy. We basically need these guys to stay right on top of the trucks. All right, there we go. They're back in progress. The problem is they actually run away before they're fully uh, reloaded, so I should probably turn them off auto uh, kill, but I don't mind taking these guys for a little drive and getting them 
to refill their ammo. So there we go. We got that guy done. And of course, they're all out of ammo now. So yeah, I think we should tell these guys, hey, you should probably just hold out. And now that they're holding position, we can just put these guys right on top of trucks and keep them nice and safe. So we'll nice, we'll try and do one truck for every helicopter, basically. Okay, and here's the final one. Some of them are going back in and they are going out of ammo. So I'm just going to bring a truck kind of in. They seem to chase the ants, which is fine. Oh, god damn, these ants. All right, if there's an ant in the way, I can't drive over it. These trucks make no sense at all. You should be able to drive over bugs. That's the whole point. So there we go. Bring this truck out here. A little bit dangerous, but that should help with uh, some of the fighting in the middle here. Now, oh, god damn it, I am actually getting worried. Okay, we need some ammo for these howitzers over here. Uh, how's the score doing? Oh, actually, we're about to win. Look at that. Holy shit, I didn't realize it was that uh, long this game so far, but we've been fighting for a while. 346, and there we go. Battle is won. Oh, that feels like it's cheap because I didn't kill them all. Uh, I've never had that before where we uh, win via points before actually killing the whole enemy team. So I don't even know. Can I see how many they had left? Ah, look at that. Perfect. We got almost all of them gone. So we're going to end that battle. Perfect. All right. And as you can see, we did just fine here. We got 57 experience. And look at all that plastic and stuff. So they had five groups remaining. So about 100 units left. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Not too bad. We can take them out real quick. Uh, can we actually attack? Oh, I think we can, and we may as well do that just to get rid of them really, really quickly. Uh, actually, it's not letting me, so I guess I can only do it once a day. All right, well, this is good. We're back with a crazy amount of EXP. Oh, it looks like we got to defend out there as well. Uh, this guy is not attacking in here, though, so I'm thinking... Yeah, I think we're going to move a lot of these people out there, and I think we're going to defend that spot, and this is probably when we can actually push a little bit. Now, we'll keep some groups here, but not all of them. Let's actually see. Please don't be a fucking huge group like always. Okay, 80 groups. Uh, you know, that sounds like a lot, but it really isn't that bad compared to a lot of what this guy throws at me. So... There we go. I think that's enough units out there. We're going to recruit some more units since we got lots of plastic. All right, so we'll do a supply truck. We'll do a nice mixture of things here. Air Force, we need, uh, yeah, a couple light hel helicopters should do. Infantry, we definitely want. Do we want one sapper? Yeah, it's always good to have one sapper. What am I saying? Howitzers? Yeah, it's just going to be a little bit of a mix. And then we'll end it off with a bunch of riflemen. Now, I don't want to use all my plastic because I do got to check out my ammo now, too. I'm using a lot of ammo in these fights. So we'll create that new army and we'll see how my bullets are looking. Large caliber is slowly going down. Uh, missiles or rockets. We need some more of those because my helicopters have started using those. So... Holy shit, that's a really expensive. All right, we'll buy 300, and that should hopefully help us with our helicopters. I don't even know if I should always use the helicopters, because the ammo is actually very, very expensive. All right, but with that done, let's actually defend real quick. We should... I just want to make sure I got enough people to do this. All right, so let's defend real quick. We got uh, five units we have to deal with. Uh, what do we got here? Light helicopters, supply truck, howitzers, a little bit of everything. That's actually the perfect team to deal with this. So we're going to get rid of them first, and then we'll go and... Uh, fight the bigger team. All right, well, this is odd. I don't know if he's just not putting out his units or what strategy he's doing because he's... I don't... I think they should just be depleted if he doesn't put them out, but as you can see, I have not killed anything yet, and we got all the bases, so... Uh, I didn't really expect this, but I guess technically he doesn't need to send troops into battle, so is he just waiting out and keeping these here until he brings a bigger army? I have no idea. I didn't know he could do that. I gotta assume if he loses two battles in a row, though, he loses his units like it was warning me in the last episode if I kept my units outside without capturing the point. Because he doesn't technically have this point, so... Let's see what happens here. I'm curious if his units are still going to be there, because that's slightly annoying if he can do that, because then I just got to always keep something here. Oh, it says there's zero Gs remaining. I didn't kill any of them, I swear. Or maybe I did. I, <laughs> You know what probably happened? I threw out my light helicopters early. I didn't expect them to take out five groups of them, but it does say they did damage. So I'm thinking they did damage, and I didn't even hear the shots going on, and they just got rid of them so quickly. Regardless, we got one XP, so yeah, that's probably what ended up happening. Now, can we move these units now out there? Oh my god, I can. I didn't expect that. Uh, what is actually in this one? Okay, so there's... Uh, that's a good defensive amount of units, so we're gonna keep those guys there in case there's any bugs in here or anything. And now, finally, I think... I'm hoping we can push these motherfuckers back, because I'm so sick of fighting in the damn... 
kids' bedroom are in this main hallway here, so let's do it. Here we go. All right, once again, we are the underdogs here. We only got one spot to choose, and of course, our enemy could be right beside us, so... Uh, yeah, we're just going to put down units and lots of units, so I definitely want to get my supply trucks down early on because, uh, supply is something I'm worried about. Uh, sappers. Sappers, very, very important here. I need to block off this area because you know he's going to put some stuff there. And then, obviously, I want one on the other side to defend from anything coming over there, too. Now, howitzers all the way across the back. Can't forget the helicopters now. We are going to go crazy in helicopter territory here. This is actually really cool. I really like the helicopters, and uh, they seem to be doing a lot of damage, so we're going to use all 14. Why the hell not? He's going to have lots of flying insects anyways. All right, and finally, a few good men. We got lots of good men here, so we're going to put as much riflemen down as physically possible. Now, all I can really do here is try and defend my base as much as possible, so I'm going to surround it, put up defenses, and bunker down, essentially. All right, and I think that's all I can do. It's not letting me put down anymore, but it's not giving me the error message anymore. That's kind of odd. All right, well, I think that should be enough anyways, so... We're gonna start this up, and to start it off, glue. Glue everywhere. Oh, I'm all out of battle points! That's why. I've never been out of battle points before I put down my crew. So, because of that, oh, I really wish I could just tell them, hey, I just want these guys. Can I control click? Oh my god, I can. You can control and manually click and group things. That's amazing. So we're gonna put some of those guys over there, get a good visual on anything coming that way, and then we're gonna put some right by over here or not i guess they're gonna go over there that's actually totally fine what what are you guys doing what the f what the fuck are you guys stop oh my god i'm gonna spend so much time just dealing with this all right let's put those guys over there hopefully they listen this time now unfortunately i can't do anything with my sapper because i don't have any battle points so i think we're just gonna wait it out see where these guys come from and address it but we will spread out my helicopters here so we can uh, see where they come from as quickly as possible. All right, I may as well ready up since we can't do anything else. And here they come. I freaking knew it right over there. All right, I'm going to grab my sapper real quick. See if we can put some glue down uh, as quickly as possible. I don't know how much glue costs, but it's not that much. I know that. All right, actually, I think the better idea will be to save myself against uh, enemy flyers here. What the hell? Okay, I don't have enough battle points yet, so let's just not deal with that. Look at my helicopters. <laughs> All right, let me see how much damn health they got. They don't really got too much health, so they probably are going to die, but they are going to do a serious amount of damage. All right, with that in mind, let's bring up some of my army guys, too. I think the majority of them are coming from the front lines here, so we'll put some in the back lines, but we shouldn't have to deal with that. The rest of these guys, let's spin this a little bit. We're going to put these behind the base because they can get in behind here and start doing a lot of damage. We don't want that happening, obviously. Uh, what else do we need to do here? All right, I'm getting a little bit worried here. We do got a lot of, uh, flying guys. Let's actually bring... Holy crap, where are all my helicopters? All right, a lot of them are down. We need to bring the helicopters over, though. Uh, because this is gonna be our best support against flight. Oh my god, look at all of them in here, guys. This is... Holy shit, I thought this would be easy. This is not easy at all. This is not easy at all. All right, I am surrounding it, though. I'm hoping we can survive it. It's at 89% right now. It's got lots of health, but uh, we don't want to get too cocky because that can go down really quickly, especially with all these flyers. I mean, holy shit. That's a lot of freaking flyers. All right, we need reinforcements. We may as well get some more artillery in here because we can. No troops available. Infantry. Let's get some light riflemen in here. We are losing our troops. Too many troops on the battlefield, so we didn't lose too many just yet. Uh, I'm also going to start bringing out the supply trucks because we're going to need it. Uh, too many troops on the battlefield. Okay, I gotta figure out how... I just don't, I don't want to deal with that anymore. There we go. All right. Well, that was a little scary, but uh, while I was dealing with all the stuff over here, it's looking like, look at that, guys. We fucking did it. I think they got quite a few of my units, though. That was, uh, especially my helicopters, they didn't last long at all, so they're not that defensive of a vehicle. But God damn it, we still had 68% to our allied outpost, and they are gone, ladies and gentlemen legit gone. Judging by the field, though, I actually lost 13 of my 14 helicopters. I'm only seeing one right now, so that's a little bit of a bummer. All right, what's taking so long here? Let's just speed up time. Can I can I get the victory, please? Uh, is there someone still alive? Uh, oh yeah, there's still two enemies on the battlefield. There's always, like, random enemies at the end that make you wait way too long. I doubt we'll be able to find them, but let's go see. Holy, what the fuck? What the fuck? 
I I am not speed hacking, I swear. I I don't know why I'm going so fast with this guy, but this is great. Look, look at how fast I am. All right, where are you, bastard? I got my speed hacks on, unintentionally, of course. And, uh, yeah, I don't think they're anywhere. So worst case, we just gotta wait out the 11 minutes. Oh, I know why I'm going so fast, because I got times four on. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's my helicopter, unfortunately. So I don't think we're gonna find this damn bug. Whoa, what's going on down here? We having a rave show or something? So, uh, yeah, there's like, whoa, oh, oh god, okay, I don't like that. Uh, but there's no time left, so, unfortunately, when glitches like that happen, you gotta wait it out. We won, though! So, there was two bugs left somewhere, they probably glitched to the wall or something. And, uh, yeah, we won it. Oh my god. Hey, every now and then, though, I get scared in these battles just because of how many flying insects the enemy does have. Let's actually... Uh, before I forget, I kind of want to look at their intel. I never really looked at this screen too much. I'm assuming the standard swarm means the total amount of swarms it currently has, which is 407, uh, with 250 ants, and you can see the rest over here. Like, I, I, I don't know if that's what that means, but I'm assuming that's what that means. Uh, I don't know how much food is a good amount of food for them. Again, I don't even know if you can play the insects, can you? That being said, we have seen the fire ants in the very recent uh, past, so we know about that. Let's actually see the difference in uh, strength of that. I'm curious. So damage of the first one, so yeah, it's double the damage with the fire ants. Uh, I figured that well, that was about it. But also, technically, he can get a spider right now, so we do have to worry about things like that. We got if uh, house or the common household fly coming soon, so he is getting up the levels here, and that's what we have to... Uh, Take into account when we are building our teams as well. If he has too many flying insects, obviously we want some flying stuff as well. All right, but we can't do too much else for right now. I don't think I can walk with any of these guys anymore since we already walked once today. I would like to spread out and start taking these rooms back, but I don't really got much of a choice right now. So we should be able to get this middle point soon. I think it actually might happen today if I'm correct. Oh no, of course, he brings over another bug. This guy's just got endless fucking bugs coming out his fucking ass. It's... <laughs> It's a little frustrating, guys, not being able to move in the last two episodes. And, of course, it's another 80 strong. God damn it. All right, well, I can recruit a new army, but I feel like I have the upper hand in terms of armies right now, so I would rather increase my resource workload. So let's actually... I'm thinking about plastic again, guys. If I can get lots of plastic a day, especially considering how expensive ammo is becoming, I think it would be smart. So what is this going to? It's going to drop me my negative two batteries. But I think it's going to be worth it, and we can also build another power station. Uh, I mean, I guess we could build one. I don't know if I want plus 20 batteries, though. We currently got 244 batteries. And also, there's another thing in here uh, that I do want to check out. There's like a market you can use. So close management panel. And if we go into the market, can I buy batteries? Ooh, I can. So the value is 30, uh, what, whatever 30 is. But I can sell things to buy batteries if I do need to. So that's good to know. Because we are in the negatives right now in terms of batteries. But we are earning 3 thousand plastic now a day which is very very good and with that also we got another unlock or we should have enough for another unlock here so this is where it's going to get much more complex very very quickly now that we're actually earning xp uh i kind of want to go with more artillery i do really like artillery in this game i mean we got all these things attack helicopters and whatnot uh, actually, we can afford that. But also, like, I feel like supply helicopters would be amazing because I could resupply my helicopters without having to deal with what I had to deal with in that one fight. Uh, I feel like my infantry, though, definitely needs an upgrade. So we got marksmen here. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Screw infantry. I think I'm gonna go through the tank now. I, I, I keep going back and forth. Unfortunately, I can't unlock that until I get the recon vehicle. All right, screw it. I'm not really into the recon vehicle too much, but I really wanna go down this tank line. I think that's going to be very fun. And then we can get an aircraft vehicle as well, and then we can have mostly tanks. I'm definitely uh, probably gonna be focusing on tanks in this playthrough just because I like them. I, I am definitely a tank nerd. Oh my God, look at that artillery though, that rocket artillery. Uh, there's things like that that excite me as well, and obviously a lot of these flight things, but I think we're going to kind of stop with the infantry. Yes, they're useful, but I, I, I like the idea of having a, a platoon of tanks instead. So yeah, I'm gonna unlock the recon vehicle. I don't think we'll buy too many of them, but we'll try them out, that's for sure. Alright, and with that in mind, let's create a new army here, and let's get a recon vehicle in here. So how much damage do these do? Doesn't even say, it doesn't matter though, because I know they do a decent amount, so we're gonna do... Yeah, we'll do that many. So seven of them, and... Uh, 
uh, we do want our supply trucks. Supply trucks are the greatest inventions ever. Uh, 665 left. So what do we really need? I feel like we definitely need more light helicopters because we lost most of ours. So we'll get three of those. And I might even drop... Well, I, I you know what? No, that's actually good. So we'll create that new army. Oh, no. Oh, god damn it. I reset it. Uh-oh. I think I actually broke it. I don't have my money anymore. What the hell? I, I didn't get an army, did I? Hold on here. Let me see. Uh, okay, that's definitely my old one. And, okay, I did get it. Alright, so I did uh, send it to here. That's totally fine. Alright, unfortunately, I cannot move that unit today, so we are going to have to defend without them. We'll defend real quick here, and, uh, whew, what do we got this time? Oh, we do got the spiders. Uh, you know what? I am... A little scared about that, so I think I'm gonna bring over my other unit that I can bring over. Just to be safe! We still got those guys at home, so we should be okay, but spiders is something we haven't fought yet, so... Again, we're still struggling, because he can just... It seems like he can get so many units out so quickly, so we'll fight this off. Hopefully we can survive it. <laughs> this is a really difficult game, let me just say that. When you start, you know, falling off, it's very hard to come back, but it seems like we're doing okay. Alright, so, I know he's got a little bit of everything, and once again, he's got the upper hand, so I'm going to, as always, bunker down and see what we can do about him. Alright, this time I'm not going to make the mistake of using all my battle points. We're going to keep uh, probably a hundred or so just to uh, allow my sappers to do something. Now, unfortunately, this time I only got three attack helicopters, so we did lose the vast majority of them. I probably should have just recruited a bunch more, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, I hope we'll be okay anyways. Uh, I'm praying we'll be okay, but yeah, we got lots of land units still, or infantry units, I guess, if you want to call it that. We'll put some over here, because there's going to be ants coming down the side. Uh, we're at 184. Okay, too many troops on the battlefield? Oh, look at that, perfect. All right, and we got enough battle points left to put down some defenses, so I'm going to do that. Obviously, I'm going to focus on over here first, so we'll put a barbed wire there. We'll put a barbed wire there, and then we'll put a barbed wire there. And coming around this side... We'll do the same thing. We'll just kind of barb wire it off. Oh, and I'm all, I'm all at a battle point. So we can ready up and slowly wait for some more of them. All right, and here they come. They're coming in from the side as expected. Oh my god, they jump in. That's horrifying. Okay, I did see the crickets finally jump now. And they got a serious jump on them. That's impressive. Uh, all right, put down another one here before these guys start coming in. Let's put down as many barb wire fences as possible. And we're going to bring up the line. Put them that way. Bring up this line. Put them this way. Uh, unfortunately, the crickets are going to be able to get right behind enemy lines here, so this is going to be fucking crazy. I'm actually a little worried right now. I'm always worried when it comes to the flying insects, though, so let's not get too worried just yet. I think we'll be fine, but uh, you, you never want to get too cocky either. And there's a spider. Oh, God. I'm, I'm going to actually help out. Is this spider dead? Okay, he is dead. We got lots of flying coming in. It's not looking too bad, though. Is that the house flies? I think I do see. Yes, we got some house flies as enemies now. Uh, oh my god, I, I don't even know how these guys can aim and hit them. I'm just gonna let them do their thing. And what I'm gonna do is put my best effort to, uh, put some defenses down over here. Unfortunately, they've gotten so close that it's, uh, damn near impossible to get any of these down. <laughs> oh, oh god, you just exploded my damn mine, dude. Alright, so I'm just planting mines over here because I can't really do much else. Uh, how we doing? Okay, it seems like we're doing okay. Still a little bit worrisome. All my helicopters are gone already, so I'm quickly realizing how weak those helicopters are. And, uh, that might be a very bad thing, so I gotta get my guys out. Uh, we need to get these guys some ammo over here. Let's get the spider down. We got a spider over here. You can see they're coming in from everywhere. This guy really just throws as many units as possible at me. Oh god, these spiders are actually really fast and scary, but... Actually, they're not doing as much damage as I thought. There we go, that one's dead. Crickets, though. The crickets are real in this one. All right, you damn crickets. Get the hell out of here. Oh, there's a spider. Okay. All right, there's lots over here. It doesn't seem like... Oh, this cricket over here is just having a heyday eating my damn space. Look at this. A spider comes in right beside me. They're not even attacking me. They don't care about me. All right, we need to get some guys over here because, uh, yeah, they're having a heyday. So we're just going to put a couple there. Uh, these guys over here are a little too far away, so we'll put them kind of in the middle here. There's actually quite a few guys over here, so let's bring them to the front lines, because there's... My god, look at all the spiders. I hope you don't have arachnophobia, because this is, uh, this is pretty bad today. Oh my god, there's a whole spider colony here, and my guys just don't seem to even care. I'm wondering, you know what, let's tell these guys to just do your thing, man. Kill as many as possible, and they'll actually start moving around, and that should help a little bit. All right, there they go out. Look at that. I, I love when they actually start moving around and pushing them back. 
So it's looking like that's exactly what's happening right now. Uh, let's see the statistics, see how they're doing. Yeah, enemy groups on standby, zero. We've won once again, guys. Victory is ours. It feels good, man. And I don't want to jinx it, but maybe, just maybe, we'll get that fucking hallway finally. There we go. Battle is won. Jesus. Jiminy Crickets. All right. Crickets, literally. They're fucking jumping all over me right now. All right, so we got some more experience. That's great. Now, can I fucking cap this already? God damn it. So I, I'm assuming what I have to do is wait. And as long as there's no bugs on there, if I get two of the three pie pieces, it's mine. But every fucking day, he comes here with a new unit and tries to steal this back. So I can't, I can't even move to the other rooms right now. Uh, because I can't move anything, unfortunately. All right, unfortunately, the pie chart did not go up yet. I'm assuming it does at the end of two-day. But this allows me... Why can't I fucking walk? I, I just started a new day, and it's not letting me... Why? I uh, Enemy bugs unknown. I'm, I'm, I'm confused as to why I can't walk over there. Yeah, it's not letting me walk anywhere. I'm assuming because I don't own the point, probably. I can't walk from an enemy point to another enemy point. So, that means we got to basically just wait it out. Now, how are we doing for ammunition? Everything good over here? Uh, large caliber is a little bit low, so let's buy... Uh, how much is 10,000 going to cost me? 1,000? Yeah. I don't want to run an ammo, ammo, so let's be safe here. Of course, we need some rockets as well, so we'll buy uh, 500 of those for right now. And small caliber ammo is just doing fine. The rest of this we can spend on. Uh, what I think I'm going to need is helicopters again. All right, so we'll just recruit as many helicopters as possible because we definitely need to improve them. Also, I never really looked at this weapons tab. You can actually customize every freaking unit with their own weapons too. So you can do standard or piercing. I don't know why you wouldn't want piercing. I guess it would cost more... More. No, actually, there's way less damage. Ooh, okay. So piercing's probably for, like, beetles with armor and whatnot. But obviously, I want the most damage right now because we're not fighting anything with a lot of armor yet. But, okay, we're probably getting the we weapons later on when we actually do need to uh, deal with it. For right now, though, that should be just fine. We created some helicopters, and please, please don't get the fuck over here. Ah, oh, you bastard! Just let me get the fucking point! Oh, what do you got this time? Okay, we got, uh, oh man, that is a lot of different units once again. God damn it. It's 80 every time. That's the weird part. It is 80 every freaking time. And this is getting old. We're waiting once again for one random glitched out enemy, but there we go. We won another battle. Surprise, surprise. Uh, it seems to be throwing at me the same battle every time of 80... Kind of this style of unit, so it must be just continuously making these. So I need to push up the line or he's just going to keep throwing these at me. So, uh, we're doing good. Unfortunately, as you can see, it says movement's true, but I haven't capped this point yet, so I still can't move, I'm assuming. That's the only reason why I can't move. All right, but we did good. I'm just going to end the day. I know I got lots of plastic right now, but I just want to see... Oh, God damn it, dude. Every fucking time. And it's 80, right? Yeah, exact same crew. So he's just throwing the exact... How am I supposed to defeat this? How am I supposed to bring it back if he can just continuously make uh, the exact same amount of units and keep throwing them here? If I can't cap this point, uh, I feel like... The thing is, even if I bring one of these guys... Oh, that guy's going back in there. But even if I brought one of these guys out... He can only move once, and he can't move to the next room, I don't think. So let me see. If we bring this guy there... There, he's happy. And, yeah, you can see it's red again. So, ugh. Ah, it's just frustrating. All right, I will say I really like these recon vehicles, though. They basically are a very, very quick, uh, well, obviously, recon vehicle here. But I love that it has a turret that I can shoot well on the move here. We're doing just fine. We got uh, a very reinforced base, so I thought I'd come out and just try and kill a bunch of these land-based uh, creatures here. Oh, god damn it. The damn crickets. All right, hold on. Let me do a three-point turn between the crickets. But yeah, as you can see, we're holding out just fine. These helicopters are great, especially when I uh, make sure they're nice and reinforced. Uh, a lot of house flies coming in and whatnot. Aside from that, though, we actually don't got too many units out here. But my defenses are so good with this barbed wire and whatnot. The only risk is the uh, flyers, but my helicopters are dealing with those pretty damn well. I'm, I'm just, I'm constantly blown away by this game. I didn't, I didn't take it too seriously at the start, but now that I play it more and more, I, I appreciate it, man. I love this game. All right, here's the final few once again, and we, I mean, my, my fucking howitzers even are taking all these guys out. Uh, kind of still hard to aim this. Let's actually slow down my mouse here. There we go. That's much better. And I can't see because my damn howitzers, but yeah, you can see there's not much left here, so. Unfortunately, I mean, I'm not really unfortunately, but another success, but unfortunately, we're still stuck at the same damn place. And for the third time in a row, we gotta wait till the end of the game because, once again, there's some random dead... 
Uh, or sorry, alive enemies somewhere, and they're glitched out. So yeah, this gets old real quick. Thank God there's this fast forward button though. All right, and another battle is won. Now, I was thinking while out here, you know what? Before I think about it too much, let's just end the day once again. Uh, we'll see. Oh, man, now there's two? Holy fucking shit! All right, and that's 280, so 160. Now, I don't know if I can actually survive that, so I'm kind of curious about launching a satellite here. All right, you know what? I'm curious. I'm gonna launch a satellite over here. We got lots of resources right now. You don't have a- what? What the fuck don't I have enough of? Incendiary barrels. Oh, okay, that would make sense because I don't ever make those. God damn it. So I don't know. I think this is impossible. I think this is an impossible choke point for me. The biggest reason is because I can't move between this flag and other flags. I can just try and hold this flag off. All right, so I'm going to try one more fight here, and we'll see what happens. Uh, this one's going to be fun, though, because we got a lot of enemy units. Uh, and, of course, I wasn't making new units because I was thinking I was going to get 80 every time. So I will recruit a new army here, and uh, we'll see if we can take out these other guys. All right, this might have been a mistake on my part. Unfortunately, I was collecting plastic, and I'm thinking, you know what, let me check my ammo real quick before we go into this. Uh, all right, we got lots of ammo in here, rockets. Uh, we did use, actually, quite a few, so we're going to buy 200 or 300 more of those. I don't even think I got that many helicopters though we got seven now this is gonna be fun this is probably gonna be the hardest fight yet it's not over 200 groups but it's a lot harder of groups so let's see what happens here if if we lose this i'm gonna say it's impossible for me to come back because i need to be able to take this point to move my troops to other points if they keep just coming in and coming in there's no way i can deal with it i can't drop nukes or anything so there's no way i can actually stop them from doing that and if that's the case i'm probably gonna have to end my series unfortunately oh shit oh shit 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 i didn't mean to do that uh, this is really bad. Of course, in the hardest ba battle ever, I decide to start the game before I'm actually even ready. But I should be able to do this really quickly, so it's not a big deal. I'm just not gonna be able to get my, uh, sapper to do much, unfortunately. So we got recon vehicles, we got supply trucks. Oh, this is gonna be so ugly, too. I like having the time to do this. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna make this fight a much harder, too. Good job, me. Smart move there. All right, but I'm quick at the release of uh, units, so I'm actually uh, pretty good to go here. So let's get rid of the reinforcements for right now. Uh, get my sapper, and uh, I, I like to actually barb wire the whole thing now because the, the units always come to it. So if we can barb wire around it, obviously, they'll slowly die as they attack it, which is what they usually do. So let's actually bring this over here, too, because we're going to have some friends coming in and we don't want to deal with them and that's all i can do for right now so we ended up uh having enough time to actually do that that was amazing uh i guess i probably should have placed my units too but that's totally fine all right this is gonna be difficult man this is gonna be a rough one all right so i got pretty much all my placements good let's get actually my helicopters oh i didn't even know that could make me go down all right all right so i got my placements more or less let's get my helicopters here to do a nice spread actually should i tell them to auto attack yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. I, I like the idea of that. They'll go around and auto-attack things and hopefully not die in the, in the meantime. All right, sit rep on the situation. Lots and lots of bugs, but we're doing okay for right now. Uh, when these helicopters do run out of ammo, though, that's going to be the fun part. So let's bring this over here like that. I'm just making sure I have all my units in. We got these guys covering the howitzers. They seem to be doing a good job. Uh, I got my supply trucks all spread out. Uh, I feel like I do need a few more units down here, though. We did lose one of our helicopters, so let's actually get some reinforcements here since, since we do have enough room for more people, and it's going to be all foot soldiers because we need lots of them. Lots and lots. Wow, we actually I can get way more than I thought I could, and that's great. Too many troops on the battlefield? Good. That's the whole point. All right, but reinforcements are in and are going to be really good, so we're just going to go kind of all the way across here and wow look at the amount of bugs what are we at right now uh there's 64 groups left on standby Ooh, this is gonna be fun we've already taken over half of them though but my defenses are depleting i have lost most of my helicopters so we're okay but uh we're definitely not out of the scary zone just yet all right i'm gonna tell my recon vehicles to go around and just have some fun because uh yeah they deserve it i'm actually gonna go around in this one Probably my favorite vehicle to actually use. It's uh, really good at taking down enemies here. So let's go nice and first person. And let's lay down a lot of some of these smaller guys because uh, we can deal with not getting them in. 
All right, you damn crickets. Get the hell out of here. There's so many crickets. Look at this beetle thing coming in. I mean, they can take some serious amounts of shots. Thankfully, the ants don't really do too much, but the crickets, I gotta get them down because they can jump right behind enemy lines like they are right now. And it's looking like mostly crickets are now coming in, so we got crickets uh, everywhere, and this is where it gets scary. Let's actually look. Allied outpost, 75% right now. Oh, shit, we're actually out of uh, ammo with the one supply truck already. Well, damn. All right, we're gonna bring the supply truck back because that howitzer needs some help. People are slowly going out of ammo here, so this is going to be fun. Let's, uh, ooh, ooh, no, I don't want to get the bug. I want to get this, uh, derpy supply truck here and bring it over to somewhere that's actually useful. Shit, there's lots of crickets over there doing lots of damage, too, so good to know. I will, uh, address that in a second here. I need to get this to my fellow brethren over here, though, because they are going to need to be resupplied considering this other truck is all out. All right, so there we go. That's there. Now, what do I want to do about the guys in the middle? We got a few guys over here, so let's just bring them and have a nice little line here. That way, if there's anybody just eating my base, we can deal with them. All right, scouts are busy scouting. They seem to be doing good. This is awesome, though. I love these scouts. They're just out slowly killing things. It's looking like I'm thinking... We might be okay. That was a rough one, though. We're already at 63%, so it's not like it was easy. But yeah, enemy groups on standby is zero groups, so it looks like we got another success here. Uh, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but yeah, there's like nothing out here, so... Whew, we did it again and battle has been won so once again we took him down 160 groups strong this time oh that was a rough one but i'm thinking at this point i think i'm at a choke point guys there's no fucking way for me to actually do this it says movement's true so i should be able to move into places but as you can see, I can't. And it doesn't really explain why I can't. I'm assuming it's because I don't have this flag like I said before. Now the problem is, every time I end the day, he can just bring another 80 group in here. He's probably got 80 here. He's probably got 80 here. He's, hell, he's probably got 80 everywhere. And he can just simply move another group in and recruit another group in its place. Meaning, I'm at a choke point. I can't move. It's not like I can do anything else. So if he comes in here right now... Uh, I think we're gonna end the campaign here, guys, because I am- I, I can't do anything. And here he is with, uh, looks like he's back to his 200 and strategy. Yes, he is. So, yeah, at this point, guys, it's been two episodes of me going back and forth between these two rooms. I don't think it's possible for me to win. I think we could definitely hold him off forever, but I don't think that's very interesting to watch, so I'm gonna end the campaign here. Uh, well, I'll, let's just say I'll- probably end it here. I'm gonna read the comments of this video, and if you guys have any major suggestions that can get me out of this loophole, that'd be great, but this is an early access game. Things like this are gonna happen. It definitely does need some balancing work, but I had a great time playing it. The great thing about this game is you can do custom battles too, and we can have just any amount of units we want. I'll probably do one or two battles of that if you guys are enjoying this. Now, if you guys do want to see more of the campaign, you gotta let me know. Uh, I just, I don't know what I can do. I, I, I'm, I'm at a choke point now, and I don't want to just release the same video every day trying to bring these damn bugs back it's stressful because it's going so well but at the same time there's really no progression either so yeah we're gonna wrap it up here guys i hope you guys enjoyed this one once again this is home wars as always thanks for watching and liking guys and i'll see you in the next one